In this video, I have come up with a complete CRUD application with authentication and user management. Clicking this hamburger menu will show different action buttons. Here you can invite users, manage invitations, and manage all the added users. You will be able to do sign up and login workflows. You can also do some role-based stuff. To demonstrate all these features in this project, I am taking help of a task management application. Here, on the home page, you can see a list of tasks with fields. Task name, status, assignee, due, priority, tags, project, started on, completed on. Here, I am logged in as owner. That's why I am able to view all the tasks. You can create a new task by clicking this new item button. Let me show you by creating a new task item. You can assign tasks to any of the added users. Now hit the submit button. and our task item was created successfully. Now let me show you how it looks when this application is opened by Tom. And here you can see he is able to view only his tasks. Now let's try editing this task. And here you can see that the task was updated successfully. Similarly, you can delete the task by clicking this trash icon. Now I will show you how to set this up, how to invite users, and how to manage them. But before we move on, let me request you to please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video. First of all, make a copy of this spreadsheet from the link given in the description below. Then open the script editor by clicking on extensions and then apps script. Now we need to deploy this application. Click on deploy button and then choose new deployment. Choose web app as deployment type. In the description box, type anything like version one. In the execute as dropdown, choose me. In the who has access to dropdown, choose anyone. Now hit the deploy button. It will ask you to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. After deployment completes, you will be presented with a new web app URL. Open that. Now go to the spreadsheet. Go to the users tabs. First, clear out all the users. Then go to the Invitations tab and clear out the first user. Here type in your email ID and switch the status to new. Now go to the App Settings tab. Hit Save Settings to save the schema and the app settings. Now refresh the web app URL. You will be presented with a login screen. First, we will need to add our first user, which will be of type owner. Click on the sign up button. Now enter your email ID, invitation code, name and password. You can get these values from the invitations tab. Also make sure that the status is marked new. If everything is OK, you will see this role field get auto-filled as owner, then hit Submit. Once registration is completed, click the Login button. Now log in with your email ID and password. Once login is successful, you will be presented with the home screen. 
Now let's invite a new user. Click this hamburger menu and then click on the send invitation button. Enter email ID and choose a role. Then hit the send button. This will send an invitation code to the entered ID. Let's check that in my Gmail inbox with that account. And here you can see the invitation code with the sign up URL. Let's sign up. And here you can see the registration of the new user is completed. Now I will log in with this account. After successful login, it shows the task's record, but it's empty. Let's add a new task and assign it to this user. I will use my owner account for this. I will refresh this URL. Then create a new task. And here you can see our newly invited user. Complete the rest of the form and hit the submit button. And a new task item was created successfully. Let's check that in other users' accounts. And here you can see the newly assigned task to him. Now, let's see how to manage invitations and users. Click on the Manage Invitations tab. Here, you will be able to delete invitations except the owner. Now go to the Manage Users tab. Here, you can easily change the user's role and also delete them if required. Now let me walk you through the code. This project is a modified version of my previous video titled CRUD Application Using Google Sheets. In this code walkthrough, I will only cover the authentication part. To understand the code for the CRUD part, please watch my other video. I have posted its link in the description box. This file contains server-side methods for managing a Google Apps script web app. It includes functions like do get to handle HTTP requests and render the web interface, and open app to launch the app in a new window. It also provides utility methods like get page URL to generate URLs and create file for file creation. Additionally, it manages application preferences with save app prefs and get app prefs, while get all sheets helps populate drop down lists. The file also defines an ORM class to streamline interaction with Google Sheets by mapping the spreadsheet's rows and columns to objects, making it easier to perform CRUD operations on data. Creating records. The create method allows you to add new entries to the spreadsheet by automatically assigning an ID and mapping the data fields to the corresponding spreadsheet columns. Reading records. The ORM provides two reading methods. The read all method fetches all existing records from the spreadsheet and returns them as objects. The read by ID method retrieves a specific record based on its unique ID. Updating records. The update by ID method takes new data and updates the corresponding record in the spreadsheet based on its ID, ensuring the right fields are modified. Deleting records. The delete by ID method removes a record from the spreadsheet by its ID, helping keep the data clean. This file contains all the methods related to authentication workflows, sending invitations, and user management. Login function handles user authentication by verifying an email and password. If successful, it returns a token and retrieves user data, invitations, and approvals. Functions like get users, get invitations, get data are responsible for fetching data from the respective sheets and returning them as structured objects. Invitation handling. Functions like send invitation, delete invitation, and add user. Manage the process of sending invitations, deleting them, and adding new users based on invitation codes. 
Invitations are tied to specific roles and email addresses. User management. Functions such as delete user, change user role and change user profile allow for user deletion, role updates and profile changes. This modifies corresponding entries in the users and invitations sheets. Email notifications. The file defines send invitation email and send approval change notification to notify users about new invitations and approval status changes via email. Password management. Functions such as save password, get password, encode password, and decode password manage the encoding, storage, and retrieval of user passwords from the script's properties. Token management, create token and get token, handle session management by generating and retrieving user tokens, ensuring session validity for user logins. Those two files we just discussed contain backend code. Now coming to the front part. This view.js file utilizes the Vuetify library to create a responsive web application layout. Here's a breakdown of its key components and functionality. The root component is vApp, which sets up the overall structure of the application. Inside it, a vCard is used to provide a card-like layout for the app's content. A prominent vApp bar serves as the main navigation header. It includes a nav icon for toggling a navigation drawer and buttons for navigation and user actions such as home, sign up, login, and logout. Conditional rendering is used to display different buttons based on the current user state, showing login sign up options when no user is logged in and logout when a user is logged in. The V navigation drawer is a side panel that slides out for navigation links. It lists options that vary depending on the user's role. For example, send invitation and manage users are visible only to users with the role of owner. The vMain component contains various included HTML snippets for different functionalities such as login, sign up, user management, and invitation handling. The use of scriptlet tags loads different parts of the application dynamically. A vSnackBar component is used to display temporary notifications to the user. It shows messages based on the snack bar state, with options to close the snack bar. Now the most important file is the auth mixin file. This contains all the JavaScript code that handles authentication workflows and user management. On top, you can see different form objects like login form, sign up form, invitation form, etc. And in the method block, you will find all the methods that will be called when you submit different forms. And these methods then call server-side methods that are defined in the auth.js file. And this go-to-session method handles loading different app components based on the user's action and application states. So, this is the main file you need to focus on. Let me quickly show you all the forms. This is an invitation form, login form, sign up form, user management form, this file contains our table that supports CRUD actions. Finally, everything is composed here in this index.html file, which is rendered by our browser when you open the web app URL. So that's it for the code overview. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.